Hello, I'm David Hester. This is the Bible Health 101 show. I would just like to give you a great big welcome. Thank you for uh, listening to this program today. We are in show number 42. We are moving right along. We are just now picking up in week 10 of the, uh, the, the information that I learned at the Life Extension Center in Houston, Texas, okay, when I, where I trained to be a certified nutritional consultant, okay, and in week 10, we cover, we're going to cover things like oxygen and breathing, we're going to cover circuit training, I'm going to talk to you about yoga, uh, we're going to talk about techniques to burn fat and uh, weight gain, okay, so uh, we have a lot of exciting things uh, here for you in store for you uh, today. We're going to talk about oxygen and breathing exercises. However, I also want to say that today at 12 o'clock, that's one hour from now, Paul and Ann Malkmus of Hallelujah Acres will be live on my radio show. They are going to be answering all kinds of questions relating to the biblical diet and how we're supposed to incorporate that into our lifestyle. Right now, I'm sitting back enjoy, enjoying a, uh, a fresh glass of wheatgrass juice. It is so wonderful, and this is how I start my day each day. Now, since we're going to talk about exercising at some point in here, and you know, with the circuit training, I just want you to know that if you've not been exercising regularly, you've got to check with your doctor. Okay, you've got to check with your health care professional before beginning an exercise program. So any exercises that I uh, that I recommend you need to uh, you know just go ahead and, and check out. Make sure that you're okay to do these things. Now there's 75 trillion cells in the human body, okay? And every one of those cells needs oxygen. Okay? And you see, once the oxygen gets into those 75 trillion cells, it produces something called ATP. And a shortage, uh, shortage, listen to me, a shortage of ATP uh, will, will bring symptoms like exhaustion, uh, you know, to disease. Anything from exhaustion to disease could happen with a shortage of ATP. I cannot say shortage today. Now, your aerobic capacity can be figured out when, uh, you know, you, you take a measuring tape and you wrap it around your chest and you exhale fully. And at that point, you, uh, you measure the circumference of your chest. Um, and then uh, the same, you know, you, you know, you take a huge breath and, and you measure then and then what you're going to do is you're going to subtract the fully exhaled from the fully inhaled number and you will figure out your aerobic capacity. Now that, um, let, let me give you an example. Like if, if your measurement was exhaled at 34 and inhaled at 40, then your aerobic capacity would be a, a number 6, you know, 40 to 34. So... If you uh, refer to the aerobic capacity chart to, uh, to determine whether your aerobic capacity is poor, normal, or excellent. So 1 through 5 is poor aerobic activity, 6 through 10 is normal, and 11 through 15 is athletic. So let's talk about some breathing exercises, something that will help you that you can do regularly every single day. Now, what you need to do is a hundred times in, in every day, okay, a hundred times each day, you need to breathe in deeply through your nose and then out through your mouth, okay? Now, you don't have to do this all at once. You can do this in multiple sections, you know, just five or ten breaths, okay? And you should practice abdominal breathing, you know, making your abdomen rise when you breathe. Okay, uh, you should practice deep breathing in order to reduce stress, in order to increase your aerobic capacity. Okay, you need to exhale hard 
and then inhale as deeply as you can okay hold the breath for a few seconds and then repeat this you know this process over and over again and uh, you know be sure that when you're doing your aerobic exercises when you're doing your resistance exercises that you make sure to breathe frequently okay as you do those things now in our next video we are going to pick up on the topic of circuit training so thanks so much for listening to the show today if you have any questions or comments uh, please post them below the video or either on the YouTube or on the website at www.biblehealth101.com okay thanks so much for listening to the show today and God bless you